The latest now on a story that was breaking on Fox Report last night, a verdict in that high-profile murder case in Florida. We are learning attorneys are working on what they will do next. This was a case over a deadly argument about loud music coming from a car full of teenagers. And as we have reported, the verdict was coming down last night. The jury found the suspect, 47-year-old Michael Dunn, guilty on four of five counts yesterday. They convicted Dunn of attempted murder, but a mistrial was declared on the most serious charge, first-degree murder, because jurors could not agree on that. Dunn says he feared for his life when he fatally shot 17-year-old Jordan Davis outside a convenience store in 2012. Steve Harrigan is live for us in Miami. Steve, even though they deadlocked on that one murder charge, Dunn will still be behind bars a very long time. That's right, Harris. The 47-year-old Michael Dunn could be facing as many as 75 years behind bars. Each of those three counts of attempted murder in the second degree carries a 20-year minimum. Now, the parents of Jordan Davis, who would have turned 19 years old today, said they would be praying for the man who murdered their son. It's sad for Mr. Dunn that he will live the rest of his life in that sense of torment and I will pray for him. So he's going to learn that he must be remorseful for the killing of my son, that it was not just another day at the office. We expect Dunn to be sentenced on those charges of attempted murder sometime next month, Harris. You know, I pointed this out to viewers last night when the story was breaking, that when the prosecutor stepped up to the microphone for the news conference after the verdicts were uh, handed down and announced, uh, they looked familiar, some of them. And I said that's because this is partially the same prosecution team that we saw in the Zimmerman trial as well. And now this prosecution team is getting some criticism. That's right. Some more criticism for what is at least in part another high-profile failure. The prosecution failing to deliver on that murder one charge. Now, Dunn himself appeared stunned by the verdict, and his own defense attorney said Dunn never saw this coming. He's in disbelief. It has not sunk in. Even when he sat next to me, he, he basically said, how, how is this happening? The state has said they intend to retry Dunn on that first-degree murder charge as soon as possible. Harris? Steve Harrigan, thank you.